Hi guys, um, today I'm actually going to make a little chart for how much money I need to get Grace, the 2015 American Girl Doll. Yay! So yeah, I'm going to do it by five dollars, I think. Like five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. You, you get it. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So first, I need to count how many of these little spaces there are. And at the way top, I'm going to write 200, 120 or whatever price she is. And so yeah, first I have to count them. I think it's like 120. So, 125. I'll just do 125. Let me write that at the top. 125. And then I'm going to do dollar sign. So, first I need to count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. There's 27. And on my other piece, I'm going to write the number 27 so I will first. And now I'm going to divide 125 by 27. By 27. Well, actually by five. Five will be easier and quicker to find out the number that I need. So five goes into 120. Well, I'll just do it like this. Five goes into 12 twice times five. Two times five equals 10. 12 minus 10, two, bring down that five. Divide that by 5, you get 5. Okay, I need 25, and there's 27. So I'm just going to cut from the bottom two lines. Because I don't need those two. And then I'm just going to recount them to make sure that I got the right number. Actually, I'm going to count by fives up it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Perfect. So I'm just going to count by fives. So the first one, five, ten, fifteen, and so on. Okay, so here's what I got. Um, I accidentally left those two spaces at the top. I didn't count accurately enough, I guess. These two. What you can do, I guess, is just write a little, like, congratulations at the top. And I'm actually going to draw, like, a little ripply water thing right here. Like, because that's the top of the cup. Fill it. So I'm just going to do that little ripply thing. Congrats. Now you have enough. Money. 
for um I'm getting Grace the American Girl doll, but I'm actually renaming her. I was thinking Destiny. But I also like Nicole. So I'm gonna do money for Nicole. You better start ordering now. So, this is what I came up with, and I know you probably see it backwards and stuff. Do you? You do. You see it backwards. Well, maybe if I do that, I bring that here. You don't. Okay. Well, we'll let it fly. So, anyway, you can get what I mean, though. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is post a video of my chart or something. Um, good for me. Um, let me see my mom's pen. She doesn't play it. I already have $5. So, what you're just going to do is color in the whole line, because... You're not going to spend that $5 because would you really want to erase the line that you did with pen or Sharpie or something that you can't erase? Would you really want to do that? That would be kind of downing, first of all. And second of all, would you really need to get that $5 piece of candy or whatever? So, and I'm actually with... This paper that I've written on already, I'm just going to make a little pocket to keep my money in so I don't lose it. So, my $5 are over here in my purse in my wallet. And I'm just going to take them out. And those are my $5. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to put them in my pocket. I also have um, a few quarters in there, which I guess I can put in here. I'll just have to count it every once in a while. So I have... You know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to add onto the chart five little sections for each dollar and the five dollars. One, two, three, four. So now I have a section for each dollar. That's a lot of dollars, but I'll get there somehow. And these are my monies. And I can put them in the pocket, too. Because you know what? Every little penny counts. So. I'm just going to fold this up into a little shape that can hold money. Yeah. I'm going to pin it up on my wall anyway, so it doesn't need to be the sturdiest thing in the world. You can also tape it. I have no idea what to tape on. So, so I just ordered those two, and I'm folding it in half. So it can be like this. 
I don't think I'm going to hang it on my wall, actually. I think I'm just going to keep it somewhere. Oh, boy. Okay, maybe that isn't the sturdiest thing at all. Okay, maybe it's actually safest to keep it in your wallet. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. But I'm going to take my wallet out of my purse so that I won't try and spend it when I take my purse with me. Oh, by the way, do you like my purse? I made it. Oh, this is, is a jean pocket that I sewed little patches onto and put on a pin. Isn't that crafty of me? I know. I'm so crafty. So. I have the 50 cents to one of my dollars. So I'm just going to color in that halfway. And now it's time to do money hunting. So that was my video for my chart. And I'm going to be really looking for money this year because she's only limited edition. So they're only going to have her until the end of the year or until supplies last. And so that kind of worries me because I don't really have as much time as I think I might. So I might have less time. I might even have more time because who knows, you know. But yeah, so that's my video for today. And I hope if you're saving up for something big or expensive that you can use this because I actually, yeah, I think this is going to help a lot. And I forget who I got the idea from, but I'm doing something a little bit different. Maybe a little bit easier of a chart to do. A little more complex, but sim simple. I forget who it was. This is so terrible. I'm always forgetting things. So anyway, that was my video for today. And yeah, I hope you liked it. Toodles.